mantra meditation as part of our tradition going back to ancient India, Kirtan Yoga. The sound vibration is not a material sound vibration, but a spiritual sound vibration. Mm. Therefore, it takes you off the platform of material consciousness. As you surrender to the sound vibration, you get that much benefit. 10% surrender, 10% benefit. 50% <laughs> surrender, 50% benefit. But it takes the same amount of time and the same amount of energy to get 10% benefit as it is to get 100% benefit. So why not go for the 100%? <laughs> I'm a firm believer that if you're going to do something, you should get the full benefit. <laughs> So how do we know this is a spiritual sound vibration? Because if we take a material sound vibration and compare it, like for example, we could sing Coca-Cola, 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 <laughs> Cola-Cola. It's false, it's false. <laughs> and what would be the result? Thirsty. <laughs> Sugar. <laughs> But by chanting this mantra, Hare Krishna mantra, we experience something very deep, something very profound. So I've been doing this now for 40 years. I, I know you'll be shocked because I know I only look 39, but actually. <laughs> How is it possible? <laughs> That's what people say. <laughs> and from my own experience, I can tell you that previously I used to do rock music and blues. Chris knows me from New York, where I used to produce artists. And before that, I met him first in LA. So, but I've reduced all my music to one song. <laughs> and I get more fulfillment and more satisfaction from this one song than for all those other songs wow. combined. Wow. Wow. So I've experienced that it's a spiritual sound vibration because it's completely changed my perspective in life. It's taken away any stress and anxiety that I used to have. It's opened up my heart so that I see everyone in a different way, in an affectionate way, in a loving way. Mm -hmm. I can now accommodate anybody's difference, anybody's philosophy, anybody's nonsense, and it's okay, it doesn't bother me. <laughs> so that's because I'm feeling happy. This brings joy. It brings contentment. Therefore, <laughs> we're never uptight. <laughs> this is why people take drugs. <clears throat> so that they can always be calm, peaceful, and joyful. And nothing will disturb them. Except that when they wake up the next morning, they're a mess. We wake up the next morning bright-faced and, and, you know, cheerful and full of energy. So this process of mantra med meditation is an ancient process. It doesn't cost you anything. Now, if I told you I have a secret, or if any medical man told you that he has a secret, any businessman, any entrepreneur can get rid of your stress, anxiety, make you feel content, joyful, and happy, <laughs> with no side effects, how much money would you pay? I mean, he could sell it for big dollars. <laughs> but we're giving it for free. Why do we do that? Out of love. A mother never charges her children for the service that she does. I've yet to see a mother that hands her son a bill at age 21, you owe me so much money for all the years. That I... It's done out of love. And from that service, she feels fulfilled and happy. 
Is it not, Mother? Yes. yes. For sure. Yeah. Similarly, I was given this mantra by my spiritual preceptor, my teacher, my guru, and he told me this mantra doesn't belong to me, it doesn't belong to him, but it belongs to the Supreme Lord and the spiritual realm. And he said, I'm going to give you this mantra, but I want you to share it with others. Then he told me, the mentality of a thief is to take something that belongs to someone else <clears throat> and keep it for your own benefit. So he said, if you take this knowledge and this process for your own benefit, then you'll have the mentality of a thief. But if you share it with others, freely giving with love, then you'll have the mentality of a sadhu. Sadhu is a Sanskrit word. It means a holy person, a holy man, or a saintly person. So I said, okay, share. <laughs> Sharing means caring. When you care for people, you share. And if you don't like somebody, you don't have anything to do with them. <laughs> but we're sharing this with everyone equally. And then he told me, he says, the sun shines equally for everyone. It makes no discrimination. In this way, you share and give your love to everyone, just like the sun. So I'm trying to do that. And he asked me to do that, so that's why I've been traveling around the world doing this, trying to fulfill his instruction to me. So that I can give everyone else the same benefit that I receive. Because when you get something wonderful, you want to share it with somebody. You know, you go to a beautiful place and you see an incredible panoramic view with a gorgeous sunset, you want to share it with someone. So, this is what I've been doing. And uh, I spent many years in India, traveling to many holy places and listening to the kirtans of great kirtan singers meditators, and I've heard some amazing kirtans. And it's all the same song. It's, everybody knows the words of the song. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Now there are... Someone had a question? <laughs> Or is that just... No, she's translating for her daughter. Oh, okay. I'm sorry, I'm translating. Okay, that means... She was saying, hey, that's the same thing we do with our food. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Wonderful. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's what we should do with everything. <clears throat> because we live on a very special planet. No one yet has found life in any other part of the universe. I mean, we don't have any evidence. So, in a way, we're all special. And this pl planet is very, very special. And we should take care of this planet and treat it with the utmost honor and respect. Because this is the only planet where you can get chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> We don't want to ruin it. <laughs> He's finally that's, got it. That's crazy. That's a little critical. <laughs> Very high mystical teaching. <laughs>